Niners traveling across country. Michael Crabtree, legal issues during the middle of the week. Starting in this game, though, Kaepernick on the biggest stage. Boys. He's going to see Matt Ryan playing in the biggest game of his life. Biggest Falcons home game in franchise history. Matt Ryan looked great in the first half. Hits Roddy White there for 16 yards. First half, this was the first drive of the game, guys, and we were surprised how, as to how effective they were against the Niners yeah, offense. Yeah, this is defense. the first time I've seen the 49er defense look a little shell-shocked. I mean, they didn't know have any answers for you Julio Jones. DB, what happened yeah, on Julio Jones I'm, I'm here. confused as to what coverage they were running because the safety's sitting short. Uh, oh, so the corner comes him. off. Oh, yeah, got it's coverage. like, okay, you got him. No, no, I don't have him. And then when the ball goes over your head, it's like, all right, who did have him? Who was supposed to? But it looked like a busted coverage to me. Or the safety was being a little bit too aggressive. Wouldn't be the first time Julio Jones left him looking for answers. Oh, yeah. 46 yards on that touchdown at 7 nothing. Colin Kaepernick gets the football back, comes downfield, and Thomas Day Koo. This was just like last week's game. They came out and played great football on both sides of the football in the first 30 minutes. Okay, so Falcons defense sets them up with good field position, and then Julio Jones again just taking it away from Niners, looking like he was a, a, a pro playing against college kids. Yeah, he took over this game. I mean, great throw, but an unbelievable catch. And listen, the 49ers secondary, they're, they're one of the best secondaries in the entire league. So to see them get dismantled by this guy is impressive. It was 10-0 after a field goal on that drive. Julio Jones had over 100 yards in the first quarter, and then the crowd gets into it and the Falcons' pass rush will drop him. Mike Nolan, the defensive coordinator of the Falcons, the former head coach of the 49ers, liking what he was seeing there. So Jim Harbaugh, Frank Gar, talking it over here, second quarter. Falcons with it after they change sides. Can I just get in on this? Do yeah. you see I'm the protection? I was I mean, just going to throw you that throw. This is an unbelievable yeah. throw. Tom, I don't want to yeah. overshadow this catch either because it's unbelievable, but... Man, all day long. Tommy, tell me about the control well, here. It's just unbelievable the fact that he's so big and so strong and so poised and so athletic that he could not only go up and catch that football, but tap his toes. Actually, got the ground three third times. One down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Third so, one down. So 17 nothing, and you're figuring the Falcons are going to the Super Bowl for only the second time in their history. A lot of football still to be played, though. And how about a key answering drive that they oh, had yeah. to have here? This was, this was huge, and, and this goes back to Harbaugh and his coaching decisions. The fact that they did not panic. A lot of teams down by this many points want to just put the ball in the air. They had a heavy dose of Frank Gore. They try to control the clock, settle down that defense, let that defense rest, but also settle down that offense and say, we're going to do what we do best, and that's run the football. And the read option puts Michael James into the end zone for a 15-yard touchdown, so it was a 10-point game. Niners defense comes back out, forces a punt. Dante Whitner threatening uh, uh, was it, uh, Jacquez Rogers right there for the incomplete pass. So the ensuing Niner drive, Kaepernick, Vernon there Davis. Fitting that ball in tight windows, I tell you. Yep. This kid's arm strength is unbelievable. It's what we saw last week from Russell Wilson as well. Functioning inside the pocket. Here he breaks contain and actually makes plays with his legs. That was the only run of the, run of the day. Oh, that the longest one, yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah, just he functions so well inside that pocket today. And then Niners fans have been wondering, where has Vernon Davis been? There Vernon is. Davis he was here up. today. He was huge. Made some big plays. And, and you know what? Colin Kaepernick, you mentioned it. I think there had to be some pressure on him to say, you know what, I've got to do what I did last week, and, and everybody's expecting me to run for all these yards. He didn't have, he didn't put that pressure on himself. He didn't force anything. He made the plays that were there for him to make. He got the ball the, into the playmaker's hands. Those plays, obviously good scouting right there because the, the Falcons defense not prepared for great Vernon Davis. Great calling and great, a great job by Jim Harbaugh and his offensive staff getting his guys ready to play and not panicking when they got and, behind and, early. And I'm sure in that, in that meeting room that – Coach Harbaugh has sat down with Kaepernick and explained these situations to him and said, okay, this game might kind of work out this way. You know, it's not a time to panic. You know, just play your game. Just certain things, nuances of the game from him having played that position that you really can't get from any other type of coach. Well, we're watching the Falcons answer here drive? right here because they come back down and you figured it was a three-point game. Here comes the Falcons crumble. Not so much. Matt Ryan to Tony Gonzalez. The touchdown extends the lead again to 10 that points going into the half. Later. It would happen because look at the score now. 20 four points for the Falcons and we start the second half the Niners open up with the football and what would they do bang 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 Again, down the field look at it straight from the pocket throwing the intermediate area uh, the intermediate routes tight ends involved Randy Moss played a large role and then they cap it off with the run, as they did with LeMichael James huge drive. before Frank yeah. Gore. Drive. It, it changes the momentum and gives them hope going forward and also it sets a little doubt in the minds of that, that Falcons that. team.
Then we had the Niners defense come back and, and make a, a what well, we saw Matt Ryan throw an interception at a key time last week against Seattle. It didn't ultimately cost him. This one, though, averts a scoring drive and keeps the Falcons blanked so far in happens. the second half. Kaepernick comes back right around midfield. That's fine. It's Vernon. He, you know what? Might the speed ball Vernon. when he needs it and yeah, then, and then the touch when he needs it. Because he saw the matchup in having Vernon Davis matched up with a linebacker that cannot cover. Great read by Kaepernick going to the right receiver on that play. Even still, they come in, and then you see that uh, Asante Samuel, former Philadelphia Eagle, a little chatter with David Akers, and former Philadelphia Eagle. A lot of green there. And he stoinks it off the left upright. Oh. We've seen this a lot this year. I, I yeah. thought it was, it was questionable that Jim decided to stick with him going into the postseason. Took a look at Billy Cundiff, the former Ravens kicker, but they That's stick funny. with Akers here, and they're going to go to the Super Bowl with Akers. That's something we'll be talking about for the next two weeks. Michael Turner getting a little medical attention on the sideline. Falcons get the football back, though, still with the lead. They're up by three, and then Jason Snelling converts on a second and short for I don't a first think down. this hurts them dramatically, not having Michael Turner with yeah. Jaquez Rogers and with Snelling in there. Two very capable backs. That hurts, That does. That's a silly turnover. Yeah. And it always comes yeah. down to a couple mistakes that usually determine the outcome of the game. This drive right here, the one before the interception, I tell you, taking points off of the board, not allowing your offense to stay on the field, getting, getting the ball back to this guy. So it's very unnatural of them. <laughs> I would think you were going to work that in there. Okay, third and seven, incomplete pass. Guys, what do we think of the personal foul? On wash. Uh, now, I'm a, it's part of the rules. It is part of the rules. Part Especially the rule when you get part of the face mask as well. You got the helmet, which is the, all you need for the penalty. It wasn't a play. Yeah, no, no, no. That was a glance. Yeah, he wasn't yeah. exactly going to hurt you know Kaepernick, what? but it was a 15-yard penalty. Zero, you don't want to affect the outcome of the game. Let okay. them play. Same drive. We flip the field to start the fourth quarter. The Niners down by three. Michael Crabtree with a catch to put him into the red zone. On second and goal, Colin Kaepernick looking left side. Crabtree. Get out. Wow, we thought close. this might have been the play of the oh, game here. Play. DB comes in and strips it. You know, at this point, as a receiver, you want to just get down, but it's great for the defenders to attack the football. Great play by Dante Robinson. Yeah. Yanking that ball out. I tell you what. Great presence. Defending every blade of grass. All right, so Dante Robinson strips it. Even if it was grass. fake grass. This drive was huge right here, Scott. Okay. Uh, so, you know, the Falcons need breathing room at first, but on third and six, they get enough to get the punt away, but they don't get a first down. Sets up good field position for the Niners. They come back down the field. Third and short, they hand up. They went with that jumbo formation a couple of times and pounded it on third and short. Then they go back out to Crabtree. He's inside of the 10-yard line here. First and like, goal, San Francisco. I just like the way they – It just know, reeks of efficiency. Yeah, yeah, and it? how they massage the defense, yeah. if you know what I mean. They, they spread you oh, out the middle. Yeah, yeah, they, they spread you out. They hit you right, straight up the middle. You know, they spread you out. They do so many ways to attack you, and that's really Frank makes your defense. On the okay, Matt Ryan Close. takes a shot. Had Julio Jones between two defenders there. Ball hung up a little bit, though, and, and uh, it was at Goldson to meet him. Or, actually, Brown play makes the play Julio. on it. Usually makes so. Goes up and catches yeah, that ball at the I'm highest point. Around it, yeah. That's a better play by Terrell Brown yeah. getting that ball out. Third and four, they come back to Jones to move the sticks. Okay, clock is running. Matt Ryan's had seven game-winning drives so far this season. And this one. And this was one of the plays of the game and maybe the most controversial call of the playoffs. Harry Douglas ruling on the field a catch and the replay, fellas. You know what? It, it looks like the ball moves a bit, but it, they said his hand did not come off the football, so he's still securely Obviously, catching. And and you, that's a close yeah. call. Who lost the challenge well, on you that can one? Tell. Yeah, yeah, I think we, we got that right not, there. Not the drive continues. The drama builds. We're at the two-minute warning. They got to get a touchdown to win the game or take the lead. They throw underneath Jason Snelling fighting for yards. Now it's third down. And the San Francisco Pro Bowl linebackers come to play when they need them most right here. Very good point. So, okay, third down. They take a timeout. They come back out. Third and four. Matt Ryan rolls right, throws right, ball batted Big away. Play. Fourth Big down, play. and the season could come down to this. Well, he looks like he's hurting right there from that big oh, yeah. hit. You can tell. Strange decision. Sean, Sean, Sean play didn't call there because the, the route wasn't deep enough to get the yeah. first down. I'm with you, Sean. Obviously, you know, Roddy White, Julio Jones, not bad choices, but maybe in that situation, yeah. Tony Gonzalez would be a good good choice. But either way, regardless, you have to get beyond the first down mark. Okay, so we were doing that. Now we're calculating timeouts and yardage and whatnot. And, Darren, you called it. You said they'd get the ball with about 20 seconds or less yep. left to play. Indeed, they did. Six seconds 
He got to go to the end zone, but if Ryan's elbow or shoulder was hurting, that's as much mustard as apparently he could get on the ball. And you know, people might not notice that that run by Frank Gore, why big it, why it was so big, because it took more seconds off the clock. You give him another chance, that could be another Hail Mary opportunity. You don't know what can happen, but those seconds are so precious, especially in a situation when you're trying to seal the deal and close the game. Yes.